Vector addition by graphing. Hi, students. In this video, so we are going to see how can we add and subtract vectors graphically by using the parallelogram and the head to tail method and algebraically. So this is a, a first video about vectors operation. So we are going to have another one. But in the first one, so we are going to concentrate in the addition and the subtraction of two vectors. So for example, so we have the vector u and vector v. And what we are going to do is uh, the addition of those two vectors first. So we are going to perform the addition of those two vectors. All right. So then we can get either one. So we can get either the vector u or the vector v. And uh, what we are going to do, so we are going to draw the line where the vector u lies on. dash line and this is the line where the vector v lies Now what I'm going to do next is to move those two vectors in such a way that we are going to connect the tail. Remember this is tail, head, tail, head. So then we are going to connect the tail of those two vectors. Remember that when I move it, so we have to preserve the magnitude of the vector. So this vector has uh, 8 inches, so then when I move it here, so we have to make sure that we preserve the magnitude. Now this one is vector V, let me draw the, write the name outside here. Vector V. Now let's do the same thing with the vector U. The magnitude of vector U is 6 inches. Vector U and now we are going to make a parallelogram with these two vectors.
Okay. Now from the uh, union of the two tails to this point, so we are going to draw another vector. And this vector is the resultant vector. So that vector is the sum of vector v and vector u. So that is using a parallelogram method. So what we are going to do next is the addition of those vectors by using the head-to-tail method. So let's see the original vectors. Six units. This is vector U. And now what I'm going to do is to translate this vector, connecting the tail of this vector with the head of the vector U, the tail of vector U with the head of vector V. Okay. So this is the head of vector V, this is the tail of vector U. Remember that the measure of vector u was 6 uh, inches, so we have to preserve the magnitude of the vector and the direction of that vector. So, and 6 inches. So, this is the translation of vector u. Now the head of vector V is connected to the tail of vector U. And now we are going to draw the resultant vector connecting the tail of the vector V with the head of the vector U.
and this is the resultant vector. This is the sum of the vector V and vector U. Let's suppose that the measure of angle C is 90 degrees. The magnitude of vector V was A units, A inches. The magnitude of the vector U was 6 inches. If I want to know what is the magnitude of the addition of those two vectors, the resultant vector going to equals the square root of a square plus six square. Four thirty six one hundred a square root of ten unit. So then the magnitude of the resultant vector is ten units. And that is a way that we can add vectors by using the parallelogram method. That's the first one that I uh, demonstrate. And by using the head to tail method. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for watching.